Here's an example of the Columbia Road problem. Look here, this is supposed to be fat. Okay, This is fat that's homogeneously suppressed in this area. It's very bright here. This is joint fluid. It is black instead of being white. This is supposed to be dark bone marrow, which is fat, inside of the patella. It should look like this, but instead it's very bright. Now, you could say that, yes, it's worse anterolaterally, and it fades away medially, but it involves these very deep structures. And here's an example on an axial T2, not exactly the same sequence, but T2 with fat suppression. This is Hoffa's fat. It is dark, unlike the prior image, and I'll put them side by side in a second if I can figure it out. Also, the fluid that we saw before is bright. So clearly, there is something different between these sequences and the way that fat is being suppressed. If I put these two side by side, it's these two that we're uh, it inter uh, interested in. So here's Hoffa's fat, and here's Hoffa's fat. Very bright, dark as it should be. Here's the patella, dark as it should be, bright as it should not be. Here's joint fluid, bright white as it should be, black as it should not be. So it's something about this sagittal proton density fat suppressed image is wrong. Even on this coronal image, which is essentially the same sequence but in a different plane, this is Hoffa's fat. It's not perfectly homogeneously suppressed. It is a little bit bright, but nothing like this. Even the, in the patella too. Maybe it's a little bit brighter than it should be, but nothing like this. It seems to be something about the sagittal sequence. Uh, I hope that will explain it.